Well, hello. Welcome to the Fakingan Country Tour Bus. Would you join me? I'm Joel. I'll be your host in your tour bus tour, if you will. I know you've done this many times, or maybe you haven't, but I want to give you the personal, very personal, in-depth look at our on-the-road home, ladies and gentlemen. So, follow me. Starting with the captain's seat in the very front of the bus. Uh, this is used for all sorts of things. If you're just upset and you want to get away, you come to the captain's seat. The bus driver's over here, obviously, and that can become a bit of a therapeutic time of just sort of sharing what's going on. Uh, interviews. Interviews are done in the captain's seat uh, as well. Beyond that, I don't really know because you just sort of leave people up here. This is the one spot that, other than your bunk, it's the one spot that is not the communal point of the bus. Right here. Um, <laughs> well, you look, a lot of people, they do the video game thing, you know, they do lots of films. Us, it's HGTV. HGTV. That's what we watch. HGTV and Sports Center are our two go to's on the television screen on the Viking Country bus. Why? Well, I, it's just the way it is. Don't ask questions. I, on the, I don't watch either of them really. It's more them than me. But I just, I, I'll go along with it. It's, it's pleasant, it's not too dramatic. Okay, you might notice too that on this bus uh, there's a little bit of extra room in the front lounge, and that is because. We have what is called a slide out. You can tell that there's a sort of a, a, a fake wall here. Traditionally, this will come in. Now, it's only about two feet, but as far as margin that it gives you, it really, when you've got 13 blokes on the bus all together, all the time, this little two foot increment here is actually quite charming when you wake up in the morning. We had a, a mini library, but it got, it got, Take, it got taken from us. I don't really think. Uh, I don't actually think there's anything really of, of, of subsequence. Oh, the, we could go with this. Um, now, as far as cooking at 65 miles an hour, as far as cooking at 65 miles an hour, as far as cooking at 65 miles an hour, we don't cook lunch. We don't cook dinner. We have breakfast. So we stock up on organic brown eggs and peppered bacon. And most mornings, if you're on the King Country bus, you will smell the aroma in the bunk area of bacon and eggs cooking in the front lounge. Not incredibly hygienic. No one really wants to clean it in the end, so there's a lot of grease and stuff, but no one's gotten sick yet. We have four Louisiana boys in the band. So Luke and I are originally from Sydney, Australia. We have four, three guys from Ruston, Louisiana, and another Louisiana. And one of the things that Louisiana is famous for evidently is Tony's Creole seasoning and I must say I have become an advocate for the Tony's Creole seasoning but other than that there's not really there's not really a lot of uh, there's not really a lot of things to speak of really I mean cereal yeah that kind of thing there are there are Two things that our drummer is known for, uh, he sweats like a, he'll drink five 16 fluid ounce water bottles on stage in one night and he sweats it all out. So he sweats like he's just jumped into a pool and yesterday he came to me and he said, I have had six cups of coffee so far, so far today, that he wasn't finished. Uh, so the Keurig is namely for him. I'm not a massive coffee, coffee drinker, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get into a little coffee every now and then. Let's talk about the fridge for a moment. The fridge um, is actually looking pretty vacant right now. We weren't able to stock up. Usually at the beginning of a trip, see, we meet at a Kroger. Uh, so that's where all our cars park. None of them have gotten towed yet, yet. Um, and we usually stock up, but the Kroger was closed for whatever reason this time around. We're not sure why. So we usually have lots of bacon, lots of eggs. Uh, not really anything else to speak, to write home about, just stuff, dude stuff in the fridge. And the most necessary, but sometimes the most uncomfortable place on 
if you came country to a bus. The bathroom. Um, the classic rule applies. If you're new to a bus, don't do the dirty on the bus. That doesn't work. Uh, it's not made for it. It tends to carry through the bus. It's not a large living area. So this is for liquids only. <clears throat> um, and we have had times when people haven't abided by that. We're not ever sure who the culprit is, but it's a very uncomfortable moment. Uh, usually you can tell by a red face in the front lounge when you sort of accuse people of it. But that's the bathroom. We thank God for it. Come back into the bunk area with me. <laughs> now, 12 bunks, 12 men, in the morning, if you've ever heard of morning breath, uh, just look at how close the quarters are. You can picture it. It's not, the air circulation is a very key principle on the bus, and there have been once or twice when the air has sort of gone out or something. Not a good moment uh, for us men. This is, um, you'll be impressed with this, this is reasonably tidy for us all. Uh, traditionally, it's a, we're a little bit more sloppy than this, but we cleaned up for you today. I'll show you what a basic bus bunk principle looks like. You've got your pillow, you've got your blanket, and you have your, your little light and entertainment system that pops down. Uh, you can tap into the satellite up front, which we very rarely do. And you can also, you've got a little um, a DVD player that you can't see around the front there watch a, a flick or two, but with iPhones and all of that, this is, you don't really use it very much in the end. And, and, last but absolutely not least, the back lounge. Now this is a very special place for the King Country, and I'll tell you why. It's not what it looks like. Um, well, usually we, we, we prize our families, we're actually, all seven of us are married, uh, as well as the crew guys, minus one, um, which ladies, Paul Chambliss, he's around and available, uh, look him up, uh, SCS Chambliss on Instagram. But um, occasionally we'll have the fortune of having our wives out. My wife's coming out on the road next week. And so this is kind of, I sleep back here right now on my own, but this is kind of the rotation uh, of if a wife's out, then the, you get the back lounge is kind of the key. Uh, which has served us really wonderfully. That means we're gonna have 14 out here, and um, it's not, you know, it's definitely not a California king, but it's it's doable if you get the spooning technique correct. Uh, but I'd, that's not the only reason this is a special place for us. The back lounge, when we were working on our second record, which is our most recent album, Run Wild, Live Free, Love Strong is the title, uh, we were traveling all the time. We were doing, we calculated last year, uh, we were, away from home for 270 days and most of the time was on this bus and uh, so we had to come up with a way of actually recording writing and recording the record and so what we would do uh, the, the, the bed was not here so we had a desk and, the, and tables here but what we would do is we would set up a studio in the back lounge of the bus and most nights literally right after the show we would walk off stage we would come straight out to the bus and we would write and we would record and it was wonderful because we would take the experience of connecting with the audience and that musical inspirational moment that happens each night and we would take it into the writing process so uh, songs on the new album such as a song called Shoulders uh, was written exclusively back here a lot of the production even I dare say a lot of the vocals uh, don't tell the feng shui uh, police, feng shui studio police that we did this but a lot of vocals even were done back here and so we have a great affection uh, eternally for the back lounge of the tour bus and for what it served us in the creative recording process. My friends I'm Joel with the King Country thank you for joining me on our tour of the bus one of 14 buses on uh, this particular tour five semi-trailers, 48 cities, all arenas across the United States of America. We'd love to connect with you on our socials uh, for King and Country on Instagram and Facebook, the number for King and Country on Twitter, 
Uh, you can get our latest album, Run Wild, Live Free, the anniversary edition that just came out, anywhere records are sold. And finally, this is the year of Priceless for us. We wrote a song called Priceless. We actually are working on a film as well coming out later in the year called Priceless as well that deals with the worth of a woman and men being chivalrous in how they love a woman. So we encourage you to check that out. Until next time, I'm going to lay down and have a rest. See you later.